Dr. Bizay Sankar Shastri born of September 1959, is an Indian politician, journalist, a film director, and a social worker from Varanasi. He began his political career on 19 January 1998 after his visit to Germany. For his determination and hard work, he became a member of Bharatiya Janata Party. His first political campaign took place on of January 1998. He delivered his first ever election speech in the presence of Sri Adil Bihari Vajpayee. Topic: <laughs> Political career. Dr. Bizay Sankar Shastri started his political career on the 19th of January 1998 after coming back from Germany. Seeing his hard work and determination towards Indian politics, he got a place in Bharatiya Janata Party as a working member. It was possibly the result of his determination and hard work that the party gave him an opportunity to fight an election. He started his political campaign on the 22nd of January 1998. He gave his first election speech in the presence of Sri Adil Bihari Vajpayeeji. He filed a nomination on the 24th of January 1998 from Sedpur Lok Sabha constituency seat to fight his first ever election. The voting was held on the 16th of February 1998 and the results came on the 2nd of March 1998. He won his first ever election and got elected as a member of legislative assembly. After this, on the 22nd of March, he was chosen as the chairman of Saint SC Commission, Government of India. In 2004, he was appointed as the Vice Chairman of National SC, Saint Front BJP. He was elected as the National Executive Member of Bharatiya Janata Party in 2008 for his work strategy and diligence. He has devoted his entire life to serve the nation and the public. He has always thought about the interest of the nation and public welfare. This is why he has always been a part of the works related to public welfare and social upliftment. Social work Dr. Bizay Sankar Shastri has been contributing towards the upliftment of Indian culture from a very young age. He founded an organization named Mahadya Yogpith where Veda and Purana, the important parts of Indian culture were taught. Apart from this, he contributed remarkably towards the upliftment of Yoga, Agam Nigam, Ayurveda, and Indian classical music. From time to time, he has contributed tremendously in Indian cultural organizations like Sanskar Bharti, Vishwa Hindu Parishad, Ukhil Bharatiya Vidyarthi Parishad, Swadeshi Jagaran Manch and Pradesh Gau Ruksha Samvardhan Samiti. He made an important contribution towards encouraging the Indian Games under which he kept the foundation of Indian traditional games organization, Ukhil Bharatiya Niyad Sports Association. Before his political career, he had been struggling for the oppressed and the underprivileged. In 1980, apart from teaching in Banaras Hindu University, he had helped the underprivileged students by providing them financial aid by making arrangements such as clothes, books, and bicycle for them. Moreover, he worked to resolve issues of students of the oppressed class related to their education and hostel. Also, he worked on raising awareness regarding the student rights. Since 1990, as a part of Vishwa Hindu Parishad, he took significant steps towards raising awareness about cleanliness and popularizing the importance of education amongst the masses. Apart from this, cow protection, their importance, and kind behavior towards them have been an integral part of his ideology that he had popularized among the masses. Looking at the way he has executed his roles and responsibilities as a member of Legislative Assembly, the then Prime Minister Sri Adil Bihari Vajpayee praised him in the preamble of a book. He raised many questions in the Parliament. Dr. Bizay Sankar Shastri has worked as the last chairman of National SC. Street, Government of India. The commission was separated, and a new tribal ministry was formed on his recommendations. In 2002, a proposal prepared by Dr. Bizay Sankar Shastri was given written approval by the Ministry of Information Technology, Reserve Bank of India and Life Insurance Corporation. The proposal included a multi-functional entitlement card which forms the basis for today's Aadhaar card and various other insurance schemes running on minimum premiums. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Literary works. 
Apart from his strong inclination towards social work and politics, he has written a lot many books on social issues as a way to carry forward his interest in literary works. His significant literary works include Dalit Hindu ki Agni Pariksha, Manavadikar ek Bhartiya Drishti, Samajik Samrasta Darshan, Hindu Vaichariki ek Anamodan, Hindu Katik Jati, Hindu Balmiki Jati, Hindu Charmakar Jati Tatha Kanun ka Adhikar, and San Shiramani Guru Radas among others. Moreover, he operates a magazine named Dalit Andolan. He takes it as an opportunity to raise issues of the oppressed sect of the society from time to time. Early life Shastri G. spent his early years of life in Varanasi, Uttar Pradesh, where he completed his primary education from Central Hindu Boys' School and intermediate education from National Inter College. After this, he completed his master's from the famous Banaras Hindu University and then completed his degrees in MBA, PhD, and scriptures. Being a prudent student, his interest grew in writing. He also wrote many books. He also contributed as the secretary of the Department of Literature in Sanskar Bharti organization in his initial days. After this, he efficiently headed various responsibilities which were assigned to him in Vishwa Hindu Parishad. He had written on the topic of social harmony after extensive research which was promoted by VHP and Sang. He also served as the chairman at a national level in social cohesion dimension for many years later on. Apart from this, he served as a representative of the university, a journalist and a sub-editor in Vand Mataram magazine. Personal life Born to a freedom fighter Shri Shivlal Sankar Nataji and SMT. Money Devi on 24 September 1959 in Varanasi, Uttar Pradesh, Dr. Bize Sankar has four brothers and four sisters. His wife Dr. Suman Sankar Shastri is a social worker and serves as the main trustee of Grihalaksmi Trust. He has two sons. His elder brother Shri Rajnath Sankar is a member of parliament. 